Uh, uh, maybe, maybe last night. Yeah. I mean, I found out that I may be starting yeah. last night. No decision was made then. Right. right. Exactly. Your aggressiveness tonight, you, you seem to be in a different role, but more of a scoring role, kind of really stepping into Kyle's shoes. Right. Uh, Kyle provides a lot of scoring for us. Uh, I knew that slot would be missing uh, today, so, you know, I took it upon, you know, myself to try to be more aggressive uh, and, you know, try to be aggressive and give what the defense takes me. Uh, they were giving up, you know, a lot of layups and short floaters, so that's what I was taking, and so I happened to be making them. Uh, if they if they stepped up, then I, you know, try to make the open pass. Your mentality, Corey, because you're not, I mean, you're a kind of a more traditional pass first, set guys up point guard, but tonight you 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 score more. What what? How do you change your mentality around that? Uh, yeah, I just try or do you? No, not really. I mean, uh, I try. Like I said, I just try to be more aggressive. And just depending on what the team needs, I feel like, you know, I feel like uh, I'm a winner. I try to do, you know, whatever it takes to win. And I felt like, you know, I had to be more aggressive and score a little bit more today to get that W. And, you know, it was an opportunity, uh, you know, for a lot of p players tonight. Uh, you know, every time, you know, obviously, you know, God forbid, but somebody gets injured or somebody's resting or whatever the case may be, it's an opportunity for another player. And you got to look at that as, you know, you know, an uh, 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 opportunity to go and, you know, try to be a star. How did you manage the different lineups tonight? I'm sure that at one point you were out there with Fred and Jakob and guys that you're not normally with. How did, as a floor leader, how did you manage that? I just huddled them up and then, you know, to say we got to play hard. You know, we haven't played together much, uh, but we just got to play hard. You know, playing hard trumps, you know, any, any mistake. I feel like, you know, if you play hard then, or if you're playing harder than the other group, then you're going to make mistakes. But, you know, the, how you recover from them, you know, is big. Talk about the play of Fred. We asked Namar how, how, what it was like, and he said it was big. I mean, Fred coming in and seamlessly kind of stepping into your shoes. Yeah, no, Fred was huge today, too. Uh, he was aggressive uh, when we needed him to be. Uh, he controlled the second unit very well. Uh, you know, he, he, he's a great player. You know, his IQ is, you know, very high. Uh, he's always uh, under control. Uh, he, you know, showed some of that today. Uh, he's, he had an opportunity again today, and, you know, he did a great job. Things that Kyle was saying to you, like during timeouts, about you know, as as you're getting 10, 20, and eventually 30 points. So, what was, what was some of the things he was saying to you? Stay aggressive. Uh, he was kind of, you know, telling me the, you know, the tendencies of that, you know, of that lineup, of that group. He plays with him more, uh, with them more. Uh, so he was just trying to tell me, stay in my ear about, you know, what's going on out there on the court. He was, you know, another coach tonight. 